Hi, it's episode five of Follies and Keeps, building your own little tiny castles in Minecraft. Um, one of the things I'm doing these for is to learn how to make videos themselves, and lessons learned from yesterday is that if I've got a movie rendering while I've got another movie uploading, while I have another movie processing, that is enough background activity that basically my machine becomes useless for gameplay. So I'm going to separate out playing the game versus rendering the game, the, rendering the videos, and hopefully that'll make things a lot nicer. So let's get back to the game. Uh, I just went to bed, and we should be waking up, and here we, oh no, I haven't gone to bed yet, let's go to bed. Hello, let's go to bed. Sleep, sleep, why aren't I sleeping? Why am I not sleeping? I'm not getting any kind of activity at all. Let's try it again. There we go. See that I'm using I show you to do my video capturing and it kind of inserts itself kind of aggressively between uh, the user interface and the machine. And sometimes, oh, it's raining. It's raining zombies. Hallelujah. It's raining zombies. Amen. Okay, let's see if um, we're in for vast amounts of hideous death if we start attacking them. This is the, the one of the changes is that they've made zombies more social. So if you attack them, you get more zombies. Very much like with um, ow, 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 fire burning hurt. I wonder if that's roasted rotted flesh. Mmm. <laughs> the uh. One of the things they've done is made zombies more social, so I think the idea is that if you hurt a zombie, you'll get more zombies. And, uh, no iron, not worth exploring any further right now today, but we might come back. Because you know, holes always lead to adventure. Um, but, uh, oh, come on, Brain, where are we working? What we were talking about was, um, yeah, like, like the zombie pigmen. If you attack them, you get more of them. And I, I hope that's true. Because I would love to, you know, get into that kind of kind of adventure where like certain knights of the of the year Okay, good, got another shovel. Certain knights of the uh, of the year or month, like on a full moon, if you attack a zombie then more zombies show up and you end up with the zombie apocalypse. Ah. That would be epic and wonderful, and I would really enjoy that a lot. That that would be some good fun killing. Um, today, I want to get the shape of this cast of this little folly starting to show up, so that it actually you can see it on the horizon. I I want to be able to show you what these things look like. Now, one of the one of the points of these, one of the reasons for making them, is that they protect you from your environment and they look nice. I mean the whole idea behind a folly is that they look cute and good and, and they look like good old-fashioned castles and in fact there's uh, some people who speculate that uh, Sauron's castle in The Lord of the Rings was inspired by a folly that Tolkien particularly liked. Uh, very very tall, thin, absolutely pointless folly, but exactly the kind of thing that you'd want to uh, use as a writing studio or something like that. So this is up pretty good. This is, uh, let's see, I think we're four up. Oh, let's just drop off and take a look. One, two, three. You know, I want to go up. I think that's good. I think that is quite good right there. So our door will be above that block right there. That will be the actual door for the folly. And then I think the approach will be across this ravine. I think what I'm going to do is dig out this dirt and give myself a nice gully in front of my front door. So the only approach will be across the bridge right here. Yeah, I like that a lot. That does mean I'm going to have to close off this murder hole eventually. Why do I keep trying to go that way? Because I can't go that way. I mean, I block off the castle. I block off the path intentionally, and then I still think that I can go that way. And my wife has something for me. Thank you very, very much. You're very, very welcome. That's very nice of you. Thank you. And, oh, lots of things to grab in here. And this is still quite usable. 
Then let's get that floor in place. Uh, one, two, three, that should be plenty to get that floor in place. And one, two, well, oh, missed, darn it. And I'm using solid blocks for now. I'm, I'm, when we go up another floor, we'll start using half blocks. But I think for right now, we'll just use solid blocks because I like the sound of them. And let's finish in this spot right here. And the basement is done. The basement's completely done. I think I'd like to add a window here so we can uh, get a little bit more light in. And instead of using glass, I think that should be a fence. So let's make a fence for that. Uh, some, some wood bars, since we don't have steel bars yet. And one, two, and there we are. The only thing that's really going to change now between this and the final version of this little keep a little folly will be that this will be blocked off because that'll be the stairs down to the upper floor. But this will always be here, and I suppose we could put a railing here, but um, nah, screw it. I like having that be a little dangerous. And there we are. Okay, and we've got some light up, and we need to get a ladder going up that direction. Uh, can I make a ladder, enough ladder with this? Let's try it. Yeah, that might be enough. I start up one, two, three, no, it's not going to be enough. Oh well. Always with try. And another ladder. There's a, a left click feature where you uh, left click, or I'm sorry, right, right, right click and then drag and uh, it fills in the spaces for you, which is very so nice. There we are. Now here we are. And this is going to be the main floor of the, of the folly. And we'll just kind of define this a little bit here. Probably not going to go too much farther. I want to save some of the block for um, working in the quarry and getting that a little bit more defined. But for now, let's just put a torch here. And we're good. Uh, these need to be wood. They don't have to be wood. I mean, you can be whatever you want them to be. But I, I like seeing wood for floor. Wood is down. Stone is up. Stone sides. So there we are. And now let's get ourselves a... Uh, the ladder will continue up here. So we'll keep moving up to the uh, ramparts from here. And we'll put a um, trap door there. Something to keep the rain out. So let's make a trap door. And there we are. And all right. And if we had a catacomb, if we had a ladder down to the catacombs, I think I would probably just put another trap door down below. There's a trap door here. And in fact, let's do that. Come on. There. A little bouncy problem. And we'll have a trap door down to the catacombs here. Two, let's, that should be enough to get started. And one, two, ladders down. And next trap door. So there. And I don't want to be walking around with a bunch of ladders. So let's just uh, use them. And I suppose it would be clever to have a torch here so that this thing doesn't fill up with skeletons waiting for me to come home. There we are. There we are. And then, um, if you haven't used this test technique before, it used to be that you could just walk up to a ladder, and if the ladder was on the second block, you would immediately start going up it. Uh, but now, you have to jump to get onto that ladder. So just walk up to it and give a jump in. You'll be fine. And, uh, let's see. I think it's actually time to start getting a... Well, I, obviously I don't need a, another workbench, but let's get a, a chest in here. Because we're starting to get a lot of building materials that we I don't want to have to keep carrying around. And there's no reason to keep carrying flesh everywhere I go. I always like to put my drops up in a corner. Don't need the eggs. It's not enough leather to do anything useful with. Uh, I want to take my wood with me to the quarry, but I don't need the glass glass. I do like getting in the habit, though, of having something to drink every morning and every evening. 
So I like having a canteen with. Now, this is obviously, the game doesn't require you to do this, but I think it makes it more of a interesting game if you do. And let's get rid of those flowers on the way back to the quarry. And hopefully we still have enough time. Let's do a little... Oh, we don't. That was the whole day. Day goes fast sometimes. So let's go fill up our canteen. And on the way back, let's check out the tree farm. Hello, chicken. Got a nice woodpecker outside my window. Check out the wheat. Ah, the wheat's just growing so slow. And... Carry your water in you. There we go. So let's get some torches up here so the wheat can grow all night and all day. Didn't expect that. I wonder if I've got some hard drive thing going on here where I'm getting close to full or something because as the video gets close to the end of the first day I see the things start to slow down a little bit and I'm wondering if maybe I need to have more than you know just like five or six gigabytes free but actually a little closer to 12 or 16 oh just got an egg and one two out oh, one and you know, there really isn't any time. I'm just going to head back to the keep. We're going to call it the first day. But there we've got the foundation of the keep up. And we're starting to get something that on the surface, or on, on, the, uh, on the, the horizon, will show up as clearly not game generated. Something that, you know, as you're going along, if you've lost your bearings, that's clearly not game generated. That's easy to see as something that uh, is gamer gamer done and uh, easy to find your way back to. And uh, Moon is up, oh, it's a full moon. How nice. And if you want to, and you have a bow at this point, then you can certainly go up and start uh, hunting at night. Start looking for anything that might be fun to have a dance with. But for now, all I have is my hatchet. And it doesn't look like I have much of a hatchet at that. So I think I'm just going to call it good for tonight. Oh, there's a zombie. I could probably go over and dance with him a little bit. But no, I think let's call this the end of the day. So I'll head back down and go to bed. And once I actually get some armor and have something I can, uh, you know, kind of, <laughs> nice, at least a cod piece or some pants. You know, if I get some pants and a pair of boots or something, then I think I might actually start going out and doing some hunting at night to start getting that string that I need and things like that. But um, that's all for now. And I hope you're all having fun and enjoying the game. And have a good night. Talk to you guys all later.